Graduated cylinder. Dealing with liquid in graduated cylinders can be dangerous if you don't wear the proper equipment when handling them. To ensure safety when performing experiments, you should always wear goggles and aprons. This will prevent the materials you are working with from getting in your eyes or on your clothes. Another important rule of lab safety is to walk in the lab. This will prevent the spilling of liquid from your graduated cylinder if you are walking fast and carrying it. If you do ever spill the materials you are working with, inform the teacher right away so they can clean it up. The definition of volume is how much space an object takes up. Volume is a three-dimensional space occupied by gas, liquid, or solid. Scientists measure volume in cubic units, such as liters, cubic meters, gallons, and ounces. The most popular equation to find volume is mass divided by density. To find liquid volume, you can use a graduated cylinder. The base units of liquid volume are liters and milliliters. The sizes of a graduated cylinder can range anywhere from 10 to 1,000 milliliters. D depending on the size of the cylinder, the increments can be different. To get a consistent and accurate reading, you have to make sure you take the reading at eye level and read from the bottom of the meniscus. If someone were to read it from above eye level, the measurements would read less than it actually is. Also, if you were to read the meniscus from below eye level, the reading would appear higher than it actually is. When taking a reading, make sure your eyes are level to the measurement. The meniscus is upward or downward curve at the surface of liquid in a container. When taking a reading, it is important to read from the bottom of the meniscus because if you don't, the reading won't be accurate. When confirming a reading, round to the tenths place to get the closest measurement. Also, when taking a reading, leave the cylinder on a flat surface. If it is unlevel, the reading so won't be accurate. Look at the molar, you can see that this one is just about seven, right? This one is what the letters are along the nose below 13. This one is going to be about 11 and a half, so close to 12, I would say. Let me turn these ones to you guys. This one was out of 10, and this one was out of 25. And this one's out of 100, and this one is about 56. This one is also about 100, out of 100, and is 65.